when his fever is subsided, he is liberated. He is called liberated from the fever. Similarly, when we have perfect knowledge, what is that perfect knowledge? The perfect knowledge to understand that I am eternal servant of Krishna. This is perfect. This is perfect knowledge. Jive Sarupai Nitta Krishna Das. One has to understand this fact that I am not Krishna. I am not like Krishna. I am not equal to Krishna. I cannot become Krishna. I am Krishna's eternal servant. This is taught by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Gopi Bhattu Padakamalayu Dasu Dasanu Das. He, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says, I am not a Brahmin, I am not a Shudra, I am not a Brahmachari, I am not a Sannyasi. In this way, because we identify with the Varnasam Dharma. I am Brahmin, I am Sannyasi, I am Brahmachari, I am Grihastha, I am Kshatriya. These are our designations. But when we become designation free, then I am not ranked. I am not Brahmacharya. I am not this, I am not that. I am simply pure servant of Krishna. This is knowledge. Or otherwise, anything we identify, that is ignorance. Uh, this is knowledge. So, and when we come to this knowledge, that I am eternal servant of Krishna, then I am liberated. Mukti hitya unnatha rupam sarupena avasthiti hitya unnatha rupam. I am accepting a different type of body and different type of position, and I am identifying myself with that particular position. Uh, that is my ignorance. Uh, although I am acting just like a perfect brāhmaṇa or perfect kṣatriya or perfect vaiṣya, uh, still I am imperfect because my perfection is not to act as a vaiṣya, brāhmaṇa, kṣatriya, American, Indian, but to act as servant of Krishna. That is liberation. That is liberation. Sarvapādhi vinin muktam tatparattena nirmalam. Nirmalam means liberation. Uh, that nirmalam means sarvapādhi vinin mukta. Uh, the Vaishna process is to become nirmalam, tatparattena. A real pure Vaishna simply identifies himself as a servant of Krishna. Therefore he is nirmalam. He is liberated. He does not identify himself as a Kshatriya, Brahman, American, Indian. No. That is not his position. But so long I stick to this designation, I am not Nirmal. I am Samal, uh, with dirty things. So we have to be relieved from these dirty things and come to the original position of Krishna consciousness. Then our sinful activities and its reaction will be counteract. Hmm. Go on. Preventing the steps of past sinful activities for which we are suffering at the present moment, and we may be suffering in the future due to our present sinful activity. But all of these reactions to sinful deeds can immediately be stopped if we take the case of consciousness. Krishna consciousness, if we take to Krishna consciousness, automatically we become uh, immune from sinful activities. The devotional service, the mind being engaged on the lotus feet of Krishna, as Ambarish Maharaj did, Savai mana Krishna padara bindaya, bachangsi vaikuntha gunanu varnat. Ambarish Maharaj was very responsible emperor of the world, but he fixed up his mind on the lotus feet of Krishna. Ah, 
and he engaged his words simply vaikuntha gunanvan uh, simply describing the qualities the transcendental qualities of krishna uh, he used his eyes to see the deity he used his legs to go to the temple he used his hands for cleansing the temple he used his nose for smelling the flower and tulsi offered to krishna he used his tongue for tasting krishna prasada in this way he engaged all his senses in the service of the lord so there was no chance of committing sinful activities by his body it is can be it can be done by every man everyone can install deity at his home and uh, regularly worship the deity according to the injunction of the shastra and spiritual master and eat prasadam and hear vaikun bhagavad uh, bhagavatam chant and speak hari krishna this is simple life and one can become immune from all sinful reactions the simple thing uh, van So devotional service to the Lord in Krishna consciousness can burn up all the fuel of sinful activity. For example, in the Gita, Arjuna thought that fighting was a sinful activity, but Krishna engaged him in, on the battlefield under his order, and so the fighting became devotional service. Therefore, Arjuna was not subjected to any sinful reaction. So, uh, the example is that the, in the fire. You go on giving fuel perpetually. Uh, it will burn into ashes. Similarly, it doesn't matter to become sinful without Krishna consciousness. Everyone is sinful. So to become sinful is not disqualification because everyone is sinful. But if one takes to Krishna consciousness, Krishna consciousness is just like the fire. and the sinful activity is just like wood but when the wood is in touch with the fire so the fire would burn all the wood pure uh, uh, into ashes but we should not once we take to krishna consciousness we should stop the pillars of sinful activities whatever we did in our past life that is excuse but if we take to krishna consciousness and if we go on with our sinful activities that will not help us just like the same fire you take the fuel and add to the fire it will burn into ashes but at the same time if you pour some water also then it will be useless so similarly our past sinful activities that can be burnt into ashes provided we don't add any more no. don't take it now it will burn into ashes so go on this business and that business no that business means pouring water into the fire it will not burn go on shila rupa goswami quotes another verse from the third canto of shrimad bhagavatam 33rd chapter 6th verse in which deva who addresses her son kapila deva and says quote my dear lord there are nine different kinds of devotional service beginning from hearing and chanting anyone who hears about your past times who chants about your glories who offers you obeisances who thinks of you and in this way executes any of the nine kinds of devotional service even if he is born in a family of dog eaters the lowest grade of mankind becomes immediately qualified to perform sacrifices 